a great fear that patients have is either not waking up or remembering things during the procedure. I think the number one misconception that uh, lay uh, folk may have about anesthesiology is that anesthesiologists are not physicians. So there is tens of thousands of clinical training hours and 12 to 14 years of education that backs up an anesthesiologist. The second misconception probably is that you go to sleep and you wake up and the anesthesiologist actually just walks out in between. First of all, for these uh, fears that patients have about not waking up or um, remembering things during the procedure, a lot of that stuff actually relates to what kind of anesthetic is being administered. Putting the patient to sleep actually involves uh, uh, administering a set of medications and these medicines have to be reversed at the very end. So with general anesthesia when a patient is put to sleep uh, usually they also get something called a paralytic so that their muscles don't react when the surgeon is doing the surgery. Now the stories that you hear about patients waking up and feeling paralyzed and not able to move it's possible that something like that happens uh, when a patient is also paralyzed but this is usually under general anesthesia there are methods for the anesthesiologist to become aware that a patient is uh, more awake and needs to get back to sleep. They would administer more anesthetic agents either through a gas or through the intravenous form of administration to get the patient into a deeper state of anesthesia. But with general anesthesia, it's actually extremely rare for a patient to wake up during the surgery. The numbers are less than 0.5%.